Well, good evening and uh, welcome to the graduate commencement of Stetson University. Service, or as I prefer to say it, having a servant's heart, with a bias for action, is at the core of this EMBA experience overall and the Stetson community as well. The core elements of the Stetson EMBA experience are empathy, leadership, converted into practice, and acted upon here at Stetson, in your work environment, in your community, or somewhere else in the world. It's not just the study of leadership principles, but the actual application of a leadership practice is what's important to focus on as we exist in these turbulent times. It's engaging with specific action during and because of what we have learned and have experienced in our lives here and at Stetson. The practice of serving can be viewed through our EMBA lensed goggles. And I'll look briefly at the base strategy and some tactics that can be used to help exercise those servant muscles we all have. This is not just an academic exercise I'm talking about, but it's that jumping in with both feet, hands dirty, coffee fueled kind of action. The kind of action that sometimes can be uncomfortable because it challenges us. The core strategy is based around the concept of grit. Simply put, finding what grabs you emotionally, mindfully leaning into that cause over a sustained time frame, and doing so with innovation and a socially benevolent entrepreneurial vigor. You'll need to be a leader by example, doing things that might be evolutionary, or you might be moved towards things that are truly revolutionary. Either way, the effort will be magnetic, drawing others to participate in a cause that makes progress and therefore a difference. The tactics that make up grit are a combination of one, passion, two, perseverance, and three, reaching or exercising at your limits. Passion being the idea to find what excites and engages you emotionally. We've all demonstrated our ability to be passionate by pursuing these advanced degrees. You're all passionate. Perseverance, in this context, is the ability to sustain that passion over time, to repetitively accomplish serving our chosen cause and do so over the long haul. Most compelling social causes are chronic in nature, not acute. The needs are long-term problems that demand long-term efforts. They say a smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Well, I'm certainly not a wise man, and I'm here working on being smart. <laughs> I've had to rely primarily on perseverance, fueled by passion and a willingness to fail. I was also fortunate to be blessed with selective amnesia as it pertains to my failures, or more accurately, my learning experiences. <clears throat> I often joke my list of failures is long and success is short but I honestly look at the results and go with what seems to work and discard what doesn't. So at any given moment, it would appear that I've figured it all out. Just not the case. Let me put it this way. Even a blind chicken gets feed. You just gotta keep on pecking. Perseverance. Finally, reaching or exercising at your limits entails us engaging our minds and through the application of our very freshly minted diplomas, the creation of solutions that we could not have conceived of before and done in ways that are either at or just beyond our scope of knowledge and experience. In other words, it tests our resolve on solving real problems by reaching all the way to and beyond our current abilities. Lots of people want to be entrepreneurs. They'll ask me, what can I do that will make a lot of money and I'm willing to work really hard to achieve this success. I normally respond that they're probably already setting themselves up for that first learning experience. Why? Their goal is to make money when it should be to pursue excellence in whatever thrills them. Even if it, would be, it wouldn't, wouldn't seem to present huge financial rewards, people follow excellence 
Skills that are an inch wide and a mile deep is what wins today's race. Develop priorities and skills in that alignment with only a respectful glance at financial awards, and what magically happens is the rewards in all forms will seek you and pursue you. You will not be able to fight them off. Pursue excellence with an entrepreneurial spirit. The opportunities are all around us. I encourage you to have a powerful bias for action, not analysis. Build this environment of service as your practice while displaying your grit. Your beautiful new diploma from this service-oriented institution compels you to act by taking the first step or the next step and having an ever-growing servant's heart. Thank you.